What's up guys? Crick Diggers coming to you. Tuesday evening. I'm out here in Kaiser, West Virginia with Corey Wellens and my buddy Sean. And uh, we're out here on a permission that Sean's got for us on an abandoned lot. And we've been probing all day long looking for privies. And we finally located a stone liner right here behind me. So let me show you what's happening. So you can see we got the walls laid out here. It doesn't seem like it's very deep unless it's some kind of a weird cap down there. But there it is. We're going to get cracking into it. And uh, this is actually going to be first, Sean's first privy experience too. So he's real excited about it. And we're real excited about it. And we're going to get started on it. Looks like it might rain on us. We don't hurry up. See you back, guys. All right, guys, guys, so we just finished over there digging. That was just a little trash pit with some coal ash. Had some ironstone pieces in it, but ended up not being a privy. The uh, guy of this house actually came out and was talking to us, and we scored that permission, which they put some kind of a concrete slab under the ground over there. You can see where, like, the hay is. But we came over here in this abandoned lot, which we also got permission to start a probing. And uh, we found another little privy. We do have some glass coming out of this one. Right now it looks to be around 1920s coming out on the top. But let's just stay live for a minute. We ain't got hardly no footage. Did you get a full bottle? Yes, yeah, all I want. See you guys later. All right, Corey's out of here with the 1940s. The Kreml. The Kreml. Uh -huh. What's that, like a aftershave? Probably some kind of tonic or something. Dump it on your head. Okay. Dump it down my mouth. Yeah, drink it. Chug it. So Sean's first privy, guys. Here we go. We're going to record him digging the whole thing by himself. No, I'm just playing, but it's his first privy for real. So he's pretty excited. We don't know what's going to come out of it. We don't know what that last thing was. Is there a burn pit here? Yeah, that's what I told him. Burn pit full of coal. What's that coming out? Light bulb pieces? All right, we're going to get cracking into this and open it up a little wider. See back. Guys, yeah, Sean's down in the hole just finishing it up. Not real deep. And uh, Corey just picked up a marble surface fine. Check that one out. Real, real pretty, guys. It's got blue in it. He's giving that to Sean. That's a wicked one, isn't it? That is real cool. Well, that's the first cool find today so far. We're, uh, we got about three hours of light left. We're going to keep messing around. Yeah, there's older stuff in there. See you back. Alright guys, it's my turn in the hole. I'm just working down this one little corner over here. You can see, got a bottle right here. Probably more modern. But I got a green one down there. Let's go ahead and get it. Pop it out here. Yeah. Rumford Chemical Works. And that's a green. That's a hard to find one right there, guys. Check that out. <laughs> You never dug one of them, Sean? Sweet! Now we're talking. See you back. Guys, check it out. I'll have to edit that part out, but check this out. We got another Rumford Chemical Works in the hole. Oh, this one's broke. Dang. Yep. Could be another one in there, though. We're gonna keep working at it. See, guys just working down this little trash pit right here you can see i got neck of one here sticking out the base of one here the base of one here and a bottle right here and possibly another one there let's just go ahead and get them see if we get anything at all with embossing on it this one is blown blown and molded little cork top nothing on that one Let's get this next one here. My gloves are in the car, so. Another one. Uh, another slick, slick cork top. Piece of window pane. Bunch of metal stuck in here. There's a ketchup or something there. There's another bottle there. Sticking out. That's embossed. What do we got here? Nice. 
got a Warner and Company, Philadelphia Laboratories, Philadelphia and St. Louis. It is. Yeah, blown. Blown in mold, little warners, guys. Check that out. Let's stay, let's stay live right here and uh, grab the rest of these bottles out. I think we got a little ketchup or something here. A little perfume. Perfume bottle. Another cork top. A little perfume. Around 1920s. And then we got one more here. Let's get it out. Another cork top. Little medicine slick. Slick medicine bottle. Look at this big giant marble right here, guys. I just seen. Big shooter marble. Oh, it's a doll. Never mind. It's a doll head. But that's still pretty cool. Little doll head. There he is. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna keep messing in this spot. It looks like the majority of stuff full is coming out of right here in this little spot. So, yeah, as with my turn down in the hole again, I was just raking down in there. It seems like it's a little deeper. You can see oh, down in there, cool. just popped up a cobalt poison. Real nice machine made cork top, number eight on the base, double embossed. Yeah, see that. Yeah. Guys, Corey just pulled up a uh, Pennsylvania milk. Top broke off of it. Kolb's. Kolb's Dairy Products. And he popped up a nice uh, Rayman Brewing Company out of Wheeling, West Virginia. We're still messing around in this trash pit. Nice blown and mold beer. 1905-1910 era. And then he's working down right there. It just keeps going across this whole yard, but we're about done. We got maybe 20 minutes before we got to get out of here fill our hole but stuff is coming out here's the keeper pile over here guys i'll show you got a couple of the uh scott's emulsions with the dude holding the big cod quite a few cobalts milk and mag the master ink we got a kaiser bottling works we got a vest dry soda out of cumberland we got two different uh, candy containers. We got the airplane candy container and a little lamp candy container. We got the green Rumford's Chemical Works. We got a cobalt poison. We got that weird bottle right there that I ain't never seen. Code Froy or something like that. And then a real nice blown in mold. Warners. We got a rare jumbo peanut butter. Check this one out. Five and a half ounce. Five and a half ounce jumbo peanut butter. Real hard to find right there. Made from number one grade selected peanuts. Real hard to find peanut butter. Peanut butter bottle. Some kind of cool little hair tonic or flask with some flowers embossed on it nice little cork top bottle and then Corey popped out a half pint of milk that just says a bottle of milk is a bottle of health so we did get into some bottles today guys we we didn't get skunked you can see all the bottles here laying around this is the discard pile all 1920s, 1930 stuff. You got anything else ready, Corey? This stuff back. You guys can see just Cloroxes and tons and tons of pre pro whiskeys. You mean prohibition? Crop pre yeah, prohibition whiskeys, crop pieces, burn barrels, light bulbs. Pretty big trash pit, but about a dozen keepers so far. See back if anything else cool comes out, guys. All right, guys, that's it for this dig pit. We did end up with some decent bottles. We'll go over here after we get her filled up. But uh, yeah, that's it. It just keeps on going. We never did find where it ended. 
I think it just pretty much runs the whole length of this old lot, but that's it for, for us today. We're going to fill it and uh, get out of here and hopefully crack into some more this week. But that's it, guys. 1920s, 1930s, big trash pit. I mean, it was fun digging it. Sean, you got to dig your first privy, even though it didn't have nothing in it. Sorry, but we got we got some decent stuff out of this trash pit all right guys we're gonna fill this and get out of here hope you enjoyed the uh footage here's the keepers thanks for watching like and subscribe see you next time guys What's up guys? Creek Diggers coming to you. Wednesday morning. We just got done lifting and came out here on a tip from a buddy we were talking to yesterday about a uh, river dump. Check this out guys. Look on the bank here. Just glass, bottles, as far as you can see down the bank. All over the place. There's a broken whiskey right there. Bunch and bunch of stuff laying around. Huh. Probably going to be some uh, marbles. Not real sure what all we're going to find. Right now I'm seeing about 30s and 40s stuff. A couple blown in molds here and there. But look here. There's a soda sticking out right there. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a Bigsby's. Check that out, guys. <laughs> Still has the cork in it. Oh man, that's a sweet little find. It's an old one too, blown in mold. Oh yeah, nice tool top. Check that out guys, 1880s right there on the surface. So we're gonna mess around in here and see what we can find, but uh, that's cool right off the bat. See back. So check this out guys, Corey's right there on the hillside. Working, digging a hole under that tree right there. I'm walking down the bank of the river just looking around. It's a broken insulator. Look right here. See that? Surface pine, marble. Real pretty one too. It's got it's got some fish eyes and stuff in it, but beautiful marble. Got a little bit of light blue in there. Yeah, we'll keep her. Nice keeper right there on the rocks. We're gonna keep looking around. And then uh, go back down here where I found that big piece and pop a hole, but just glass everywhere down through here, guys. Look at it. Everywhere you look, this whole hillside's got bricks and glass all over it. So we're going to make a hole somewhere in this vicinity and uh, see if anything cool comes out. Stay tuned for the action. So far, two finds right off the bat. Looking real promising. See you. All right, guys. So that, uh, river dump we were checking out ended up being a bust 1930s stuff everywhere not real real deep but check it out we came out double diamond ridge just to try to salvage a couple hours and get some bottles Corey's right back over here where we pulled where he pulled all those whiskeys and check that out guys just dug a really really beautiful some kind of a green little bowl I thought it was a base of a wine <laughs> heck yeah That's ground lip man Sweet yeah. Alright guys, I'm working right beside him, just working down. Gonna go right up under these two trees right here. Hopefully in the next hour Four and a half. Corey's right here working beside me. See you guys back. What's up guys? Creek diggers coming to you. Friday morning. I'm out here, Double Diamond Ridge, look at it. Way, way different looking now. All the trees are down. What they have to do is take all this dirt out of here and put in new uh, topsoil and gravel and all that. This is all gonna be like buildings and stuff back here. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but you can see a good part of the dump is now non-existent. 
but I uh, got some guests here today with me. So we're going to walk back there and uh, see what they're doing. I had to come out and get my phone. I left it in the car. But let's go on a little journey. So here's Double Diamond Ridge, guys. My gosh, doesn't it look way different now? Gleaner's Paradise right now until they get all this dirt out of here. Remnants of what was. Now it's just a big field of emptiness pretty much right now. You can see the guys over there up on the hill. We got Steam Shovel Steve. And we got the Badger David Kern. Over there digging on the hillside. First time out at Double Diamond Ridge. Corey's right down over the hill poking the test hole. Trying to break a shovel it looks like. We're just gonna keep on walking up the side of the ridge here. You can see uh, all the bottles laying around. Just thousands and thousands and thousands of bottles. They used this dump for about 40 to 50 years. Around 1890s, I think they started sometime in the 1890s. And then they ended around 1918, 1920s. But we're up here on this on this little knoll today you can see how it's kind of flat up above this tree right here and we're going to just take all this area out today and i'm pretty sure we're going to get into some good stuff what's up guys you got the badger david kern <laughs> and we got steve cows they call him steam shovel steve steam shovel yeah so they're going to be here this weekend digging with the creek diggers <laughs> It's gonna be a good time guys so we're just gonna get smacking on this hillside right here and uh see you back as soon as the bottles start coming stay tuned for the action here we go guys check it out david kern on the board first with the nice clay marvel 1880s 1890s era nice brother man all right we're still gonna keep working at it i don't know where corey went to i see vines shaking down there and stuff <laughs> no. Make sure he didn't fall. Did he leave? He might have abandoned ship already. Did they take that marble from I'm not sure where Corey's at at the moment, guys. He'll holler if he gets something though. Oh, maybe he might take a ship. What? 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 Alright, we'll see you back on that note. All right, guys, David's just popped out a pretty cool little miner's tag. Check that out. Uh, not real legible, but you can tell it's a miner's tag by the hole in the top of it. They used to hang them on like a little cork clipboard kind of thing. Is that like a time check? It was actually more or less if there was a collapse or whatever, they, knew who they, was in they there. could tell exactly who was in the mine. Yeah, yep. they'd, put, they'd hang them up on, a, on hooks. All right. They went into a time shaft. Take them back home. Well, if that's the truth, then it, it has a number or a name? Number. It a probably number. has a number on it, oh, yeah. Wow. And guys, Steve's got a bottle right there in the hole. You can see part of it showing. We don't know what it is, but we're going to try to get some live pulls today. Here it comes. Looks, it looks like just like a, a slick, slick med. Slick med. Just a slick medicine bottle. But we're getting down to a decent layer now. It's a real soft, light ash. We're going to keep going. See that. <laughs> <laughs> that was all messed up. Yeah. Steve just popped out a sweet little poison. Where's it at, brother? Right here. Way down in there. Little guy. Yeah, little tiny. Double embossed. Double embossed. Nice, man. Let me sit for a minute. Yeah, little blown one. Yeah, nice blown in mold. Little tiny guy. Sweet, Sweet man. Yeah, nice pickup on that. Thank you. Right here, right here. Sweet. What do you got, Corey? Wild for love. Oh my lord. Oh, a nice. big old shooter, guys. Nice. Look at that. Nice. Yeah. Get it. Nice. nice shooter clay for Corey Wellens. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. See you back on the next one. Guys, Steve just popped out a bottle that we have never seen in Double Diamond Ridge before. Check this out. 
Avondale Blumenthal Walnut Hills. Don't know anything about it, if it's local or what. Dude, that's an awesome little med though. Sweet, Steve. I'm gonna get a little screenshot of that one and uh, we're gonna keep going, guys. All right, guys, we actually moved up here where I dug that really nice um, stein. beer stein with my son, Travis, right here where we're standing about 10 feet down. We're going to take this area out right here, me, Dave, and Steve. Corey's already left for the day. He didn't plan too well with the sun, so he missed out. But Dave just popped out a real nice everlasting black dye out of Baltimore, Maryland. Nice cobalt. Heck yeah, brother. Oh, yeah. We got pizza on the way. <laughs> pizza coming We're to the We're about the halfway point. We're going to keep on slamming at it. <laughs> See you back, guys. Guys, David just popped out a magazine or a clip like. for a rifle, we think. Yeah. Those ones right there are gone. Check the it out. The tops on those are there. Don't point it at me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. A clip or a holster with two bullets still in it. In the magazine. Just in case. Yeah. That's cool, man. That's really neat. Yeah. They I had don't know if it's military they or had what. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's neat. Heck that. yeah. See you back. All right, guys. So we just had a little pizza break, refreshed ourselves. Me and Steve and Dave's working right over there on the other side of us. Working our way down. You can see we just cut through a big old root. And. David just popped out another little tiny poison, just like Steve did earlier. Real nice double embossed, small little amber poison. Heck yeah, brother, man. Abbott bitters and a pipe. He's got an Abbott bitters, he's got a pipe bowl. Abbott bitters, Yeah. Pipe. Heck yeah. So they're starting to pop. Now. Doing good, man. You can see he's down about three and a half, four feet right there. That was the thing, but it's broken. Little C.H. Holtzman yep. pharmacist. Holtzman. All right, guys. See you back. All right, guys. Dave just popped out a sweet little uh, blue acro agate marble. And Steve's got what we think might be a skull and crossbones poison right here. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It might be one of them things Corey got earlier, too. Might be slick. I don't know. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's Come slick. on. It's slick. It's slick. Oh, man. No way. That does look like a poison. HK yeah. Mulford. Dang. Yeah, nice little, nice yeah, little, nice cobalt, little cobalt blowing them old corker. Damn. The one Damn. I got is Where's square that marble too. at? Oh, that's a light, light blue one. It's like a baby blue. Yeah, that's cool looking. Heck yeah, brother. All right, guys, it's finally my turn. Check it out. I got a sweet something embossed right here <laughs> in the hole. Something antiseptic. Let's get it. Oh, dang it. Top's knocked off of it. You serious? Look at that. Dang, it says Mead and Baker Carbolic Mouthwash Antiseptic Gargle. Was it from Say? No. Mead and Baker. I think it's out of New York. I think Corey dug a smaller version of this a couple weeks ago. Dang. Striking out today, guys, but still having fun. See you back. Guys, check it out. I might have a full full jug in the hole here. I'm going to uh, hand the camera to my buddy Steve and go in and get it. I don't know if you can like stay here on the side. Or... I should be able to angle myself where you can see it. I'm going to get in there a little bit. You sure you can get in like that? Yep. Hold on, hold on. Come on, behold. You ready? Yeah, I can see it. Come on, say something on it. Here it comes, guys. I got the handle in my hand. Oh, Lord. Don't pull too hard. <laughs> oh. Come, on. Come on. Yeah, it's a full jug. Nice. It is a full jug. Whiskey. It don't say anything, but I'm real happy with yeah, it. Yeah, that's a nice one. No stamp or nothing on it, but yeah, check that out, guys. Full whiskey jug, ha <laughs> <laughs> the Double Diamond Ridge, baby. That's sweet. Love it. See y'all back. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's digging adventures out at Double Diamond Ridge. I ended up with 
a nice jug half gallon jug with the handle on it and everything good looking good <laughs> a green marble and a stopper <laughs> that's my finds today steve got a poison he just popped out a real nice whiskey a uh sn pikes magnolia out of uh it says the fleischman company out of cincinnati ohio and then a uh, little baby doll missing the arms and legs he's got a yellow german, <laughs> a lot of german. david's over here collecting the germans I he likes germans. he likes the germans <laughs> okay he's got the germans going on here the germans and the cumberlands germans and cumberlands he's all loaded up i got the poison yeah he got him a little small poison bottle and uh i got this little weird one yeah we didn't show that one check that cobalt out guys it's re it's flat on one side and then round on the other anybody ever seen that comment it down might below sit like this yeah i don't know i've never seen that before brother it's a cool little bottle though cool yeah. cobalt bottle a couple I cobalts today i got this dish it's got like flowers in the center yeah this dish mm -hmm. a little saucer and uh i got this heroin yeah david got a bear heroin bottle check that out sweet Bye. nice um this everlasting black everlasting dye. black dye yeah brother another german <laughs> another german this abbott's abbott's bitters bitters yeah david came out came cleaned up out here a little bit, couple a little whiskeys a little nipping baby doll feeding feeder. bottle yeah, yeah. A couple then, sauces we got a uh, dr king's new discovery dr for king's and new discovery shoot man yeah you tore it up to my mm -hmm. two things and that's i got this whatever this was bunty bunty, 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 bunty uh, baby i always get at least one promo <laughs> promo we got some sweet little uh transfer wear over here unfortunately yeah, it broke man. up but you see this awesome lid with a cool design on it a what nice bunty? little plate no that was there some kind of a little mug and then he got that cobalt chemical or poison right there three piece no embossing on it though yeah it was nice color yeah, that's cool man and then that clip with the bullets in it that's pretty neat yeah heck yeah all right well day one is down and complete Bam. you guys have fun heck yeah all time we're, Always we're fun digging i could have been at work today Damn right. <laughs> i am at work today yeah <laughs> yeah that's true yeah all right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today. Um, we're going to get out of here, go get cleaned up and get some dinner and relax the rest of the evening. <coughs> we'll either be back out here in the morning or we're going to try to find a privy maybe. I don't know. Corey's wanting to do a privy, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We ended up with about eight marbles, I think. Yeah, a yeah. lot of, I, I got a lot of clay. We'll show everything better at cleanup. Yeah. But, all right, guys, we're going to get out of here. See you tomorrow. What's up guys? Crick Diggers coming to you Saturday morning. Me, the Badger David Kern, Steam Shovel Steve Cows, and Corey Wellens finally made it out somewhere back in there. We're getting ready to do a privy. We're down here in Cumberland on an abandoned lot that we got permission at. Check this so out. So if you look across the street, you can see 1840s, 1850s, beautiful old, old houses on Google Earth. They also used to line this side of the street all the way down. So what we are, we're up here on this back wall probing and uh, we got a nice stone liner probed out right here where the wall's starting to collapse a little bit. We're gonna open it up and get started, guys. Stay tuned for the action. Guys, me and Steve are working on this hole. We're working on a pretty nasty clay cap at the moment. Still no culture. Right up here we got uh, David and Corey working over here on this corner one and they said they got a med showing. So let's walk up here and walk up here and get it live. Oh yeah here. Is that a piece of soda? No, it looks like a catch out in the middle or something. Pines. Oh right here. Right there. 
needs a little digging. Can you get that out of there? Well, that's in there good. Ooh, that sounds like something else. Yeah, it glass down in it. First bottle out of the hole so far today, guys. What's it gonna be? That's crazy. What do you think about the look of it? Maybe turn of the century? Probably, yeah. Yeah, turn. Looks like black cats, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's it still does. polished. It's just a slick it's whiskey slick bottle, I think. Yeah, it looks like one of those uh, ones from made. Baltimore. No, it's, it's, it's probably old, yeah. Really? All right, well. They're down to around turn of the century right now, right on top. We're gonna go back over our hole and keep working. I think we're just getting a clay cap too down here. All right, all right. Guys, David's got this pretty uh, awesome plate right here in the hole. They're not very far down, so we don't know if it's full yet or not, but. We did get another piece of this, so I don't know if it would be whole or not, but. Tough lot broke. Nope, it's broken. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I understand. Well, we know what kind they. There's the back mark. France. Theodore Haviland. France. A patent applied for. Nice. That's good. Too bad that wasn't full. I know. That would have been nice. Oh, they're going to keep working in here. I'm going back over to my hole. I'm just now starting to get through the clay cap over there. See you All right, guys. Me and Steve still working in this. Uh... Did you? Uh, me and Steve still working in this pit right here. I just got through the clay cap, and you can see down right there. I got a bottle right there showing, guys. A whiskey flask or something like that, or a med maybe. But it's ready to come out. Let's go ahead and get it. Yeah, just a uh, just a flask, a whiskey flask. Is there something on the base over here? Let's see. Four sixty six. Looks like light SCA in color. It is blown in mold, so we're right around turn of the century right there so hopefully it gets a little older but that's our first find out of this hole they're pulling a couple out of the other hole so we got two privies going at once we'll just keep jumping back and forth but all right guys see you on the next guys one. check it out david just popped out a warner safe cure this is a little nice brother man and a half foot the pit. badger man <laughs> dude that's a nice embossed yeah. one too heck yeah rochester new york uh-huh nice blown and mold double collar real crude looking 1880s too. look at that Sweet, sweet little find. Heck yeah, man. Nice, brother. Good job. All right, guys, we'll see you back right, guys, on the Steve's down in the hole. And he just pulled, pulled a bottle out. Well, he's starting <laughs> to pull the bottle out right there. Got her? Yeah, here it comes. Oh, man. Oh, it's a shoe polish, maybe? Yeah. Yep. Either a shoe polish or an extract. Dang. And Corey just found another hole. Sweet. So we got a third one to open up. All right. See you back. Steve's got another bottle in the hole, guys. I'm going to go in here and try to record the best that I can here. See right there? Yeah, I'm right on it. Size. Here it comes. What we got? An ammonia. Ammonia. ammonia bottle. Slick ammonia bottle. Fine. Look at the wow. look at the plants growing in that thing. Dude. That's wild looking. Look at that. It is blown in mold though. Around 1890s, turn of the century. All right, I guess I'm gonna get in the hole and yeah. see if there's anything else left. 
Guys, check back. this cool bottle out. David just popped out. Oh, it's a catcher. Crane Extracts out of Dayton, Ohio. Got a neat little whooping crane on it, I think it is. Check that out. That's cool. Oh, oh he's a little off. Oh, I thought that was the same. Rob, right? But you can see our hole. Me and Steve are working on it. I'm going to get back in here and keep working at it, guys. All right, guys. See I just back. came over here. Me and uh, Badger still over there in that hole on the other side of that board there up against the wall and uh Trav and Steve are still getting down here in this one and Steve just threw up a shovel full I just ran it over here to Trav had a little Selic perfumer in it real nice patina on it too but uh yeah Guys, I got a big half gallon jar right here in the hole in the side wall. You can see the clay cap. Huge clay cap, almost two feet thick. Just under it. A big half gallon jar. Let's get it. There it is. Just say anything. Yeah, oh, yeah, it does. It's a, oh my gosh, guys. It's a ball mason fat in 1858. <laughs> Look at that big half gallon, guys. Ball mason's fat in 1858. I don't know. I'll have to look it up in my red book, but dang, that's a, that's a good one. Let's clean it out. Right, and see right uh, badger's in the hole here. We've been pulling out a ton of broken snuffs. Probably, gosh, probably, probably a dozen broken snuffs out of here. And, uh, I just pulled up this base here that has well it's now I don't know what I did with too. it but it's broken it had another a lot broken more snuff unless, unless that's not a snuff I don't know whatever that is yeah it probably was probably a snuff there is a bottle back behind here right? another piece of metal whatever that is there's junk down here oh another one a, couple of them. a lot of more broken though. Mm-hmm. See if I can get a better angle. I think we're getting a little earlier on some of it. Yeah, look, hinge mold. Yeah, hinge mold on a med here. Yeah, we're getting a little earlier, guys, back in the back wall. We pulled out what looked like a Kennedy's applied top there a minute ago. So here on the bottom. Bottom? I'm pretty sure it feels like it. There's another. That was on the broken that snow. That was on the top of that thing, so that off was it. There's a couple things down here. So. Glass, press. Or, yeah, like a lid for. Mm -hmm. It would have been pretty. Real nice patterns and designs on it. I still see one box. Something metal. Looks like a knife, like a Might have pocket been. knife or something. Might have been a pocket knife. Broken under it. Yeah. 
he's in like a pocket of some broken glass, a lot of broken snuffs coming out. Yeah, I mean, really tons of them, man. They must have been heavy. That we'll get back to these out here in a minute. Guys, Steve's working on what he thinks is an aqua bottle down there. Right there in the side wall. We're just working our way back. We found the one back wall, made it to the bottom. And a uh, real nice wood liner. Now we're working towards the front wall. And here it comes. Crown top. It is a crown top, but it's blown. Yeah, it's blown. Does it say anything? No embossing at all. Blown in mold beer. Little lady's leg. I don't see any embossing on this one, but you got any more down there? Yeah, yeah. All right, Another bottle in the hole, guys. Steve's still down in here working. Right off the bottom. Feels like a flask, maybe. It's broke. Uh, yeah, broke. it was a broke flask. Oh, there was. Uh, there was. I don't see any wording, but there was a slug plate. My gosh, yeah, there was. Your guys is deeper than ours. Blank slug plate, strap side. Whew. Close call. See back. Guys, here's our hole. You can see the top of Steve's head sticking out. You got the bald spot? Yeah, I got the bald spot. Nice. And he's got a bottle way down here. Actually, you got two. That one's not a lantern. Two bottles. Yeah. All right. Nice. It's broke though. It's, the tall top is broke. Yeah, that is a lantern. That is a lantern. Yep. Lantern down piece. Big use layers. We're working up the hill. Here comes a small one. A little ink. A little ink. A little real ink. Yep. Yep. All right. That's it. Yeah. All right, guys, that pit is done. Corey and David's pit is done and already filled. Me and Steve's going to get to filling this one. It was about four feet deeper than theirs. So far, here's the take. Got a half-gallon ball Mason's Patton. A real nice Warner Safe Cure. A couple embossed little smalls. A couple whiskeys. A couple blown and mold uh, ketchups and Heinz. A broken pain celery compound, 1880s, and a real nice transfer wear. They just popped into number three over there. Corey's over there still probing, but we're gonna fill this and then we'll be over there with them. All right, see ya. Guys, Steve just dug this burn barrel, burn bucket up, and check it out. One, one little med, or big med, came out already, but there's the top of one right there. There's another bottle sticking out right there. Let's just see what we got. There's another one over here. Yeah, there is. I see it. Whiskey. Come on, be embossed. Oh, you dirty dog. Sick whiskey. What's that right there? Another man. This guy drank whiskey. Is it a whiskey? It might be a man. Same thing. That's a whiskey. Same thing as that other one, I think. Whiskey doing that. Same thing, Nazi. the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. Broken port wine. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You get a bucket like that and it's loaded with bottles. That's the way they did it sometimes. Come on, marble cash. Fish piece. Is that what that is? Or? There's another one. Yeah. Down the bottom there. There it goes. Oh, another, nothing. Another slick man. Yeah, it's got the. Uh, yeah, it's got the measurements on it. Measurement. Dang. Another one? Another one. Well, you think? Oh, oh another slick <laughs> mix. That's a medicine. Yeah. Oh, oh it's something. It's something. It's 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 oh, warranted. Warranted, warranted strap size. Uh, Dang, look at that, guys. The bucket is full of bottles. No. Bones. Uh, I thought it was another one. It's bones, guys. It's probably a gun. Dump it out. See if any marble drink then comes. No. Oh, oh, another little mess. Yeah. Uh, Dang guys, look at that. There's six bottles in that bucket. No, seven. Caster wheel. 
Seven full bottles in that bucket. None of them in ball. Dang, Steve. That's a cool bucket. That is yeah. cool, though. Nice little cold bucket. Cool bucket. Bottom, wave to him. Wave. Anybody else will just wave. <laughs> See you back, guys. <laughs> That's when the bullets start. All right, guys. Corey's down in the hole. Look at it. Bottle in the hole. We got our first embossed one out of this pit. What do we got? What do we got? We have a... The Bolton Drug Company Limited of Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York. Bolton Drug Company. You seen that one? Whoa, New York in the house. Have y'all seen that one, guys? Brooklyn, New York. New York, fellas. The Bolton Drug Company. I see that now. I've never seen that. That's what I like to hear. That's a beauty. The New York guy has not seen that, so looking good. Bolton Drug Company, guys. You seen that one from Brooklyn, New York? Blown in mold, probably 1890s. Sweet. Beauty. That's the first embossed one out of this hole. This is hole number four that we dug. See you back. All right, guys, that's it. We are done for the day. Where's that milk at you popped out? Steve popped out, we think, is what is a rare milk, but it's just, it's broke. It was a crystal dairy with a three-leaf clover. I think it might be Cumberland. You guys ever seen that one? Probably not, but where's that other one? You guys ever seen this one? Billings and Clap Company. Here's where it was right here. It's part of it anyway. It said chemist on it. Yeah, one, I think one keeper bottle came out of that hole. Broken masons. Yep, a couple broken patent masons. But we're going to fill this hole, we're going to do our pick, and then we got to get out of here and get set up for the auction. So we're going to do our pick. I'll show you the uh, final wrap up after we fill this hole in. Stay tuned. Alright guys, here's the final wrap up before we get out of here. A couple of Dr. SBHs, a nice teal colored one. Big half gallon ball mason's patent. Warner safe cure, real nice double collar. Little flask. The Bolton Drug Company out of New York. Couple little real inks. Some unembossed extracts and flask. Got a crane extracts. Out of Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> Broken Lichtenstein's Pharmacy. Little tiny CH Selleck perfumer from New York. Some Heinz bottles. Oh, they don't have the monograms on them. But that's it, guys. We're going to go through our little pick here and uh, get out of here. We got to get ready for the auction. Hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a good weekend. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. We really appreciate you guys coming down here. We have fun. Yeah, tomorrow, fun, they're going to be at the live auction tonight, and then tomorrow we got a bottle show out in Morgantown, West Virginia. Yeah. No pawnal pits, but man. One pawnal piece, though. Yeah. One pawnal yeah, piece. One pawnal piece of like a vase or drinking glass or something like that. But yeah, that's going to do it, guys. So we'll see you at the auction tomorrow, or the bottle show tomorrow. Yeah. Out of here. <laughs>
really, really cool place to be. Look, there's Trav walking around over there. Punches, vlogs, squats, historical, everything. You got Amber Vlogs. Great man, Bruins, really. Get your ad, bud. You having fun? There's Eddie Kuski. Okay, well, good seeing you, Don. I'm glad you're doing better. That's my little collector. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good digger, too. He is, he is a real good digger. Yeah, he is. I'll, sh I'll show you my uh, pickup in this bag here in a minute when we get out. 